Hi, this is the English translation of my German pattern from the hook long beanie. I use a, a yarn named Lana Grossa Millet 2 and I use a needle size 6 millimeters. I start with a magic ring and you start with slip stitch, uh, sorry, with a single crochet and one chain. Single crochet, one chain. Single crochet, one chain. For a total of eight times. You see I have a German subtitle. I let it because it's easier for me to translate it and see it as a chance to learn a little bit German. So pull the yarn and then close the ring and we close every round so it's important to stop with a single crochet. You will now see I make at last a, a chain, it's a failure, you will see I will correct it. And you always close the round with a slip stitch in the first chain of round. I count again, eight, eight single crochets so you see I correct it you always stop every round with a single crochet and close with a slip stitch slip stitch this slip stitch is instead of one chain you make between the single crochets in the round now you need a second color and I make one chain with a new yarn and you start the next round again with a single crochet and this is also important you use the same stitch you made the slip stitch before so one single crochet and then one chain In the second round we made or crochet increases in every second stitch. So you go into the next stitch but you skip one stitch here. This stitch you skip. It's easy to put a needle in the right stitch. If you have a problem to put your needle in the stitch you are wrong. Here you see, here is your V from your single crochet and on the top right from this single crochet, this is the right hole you put your needle on or through. Sorry, you know my English is not so good. And in the next stitch we make two times single crochet, chain one. And in the same stitch again, single crochet and chain one. Skip on top this one and put your needle in the next one single crochet, one chain. And the next we increase again two times single crochet and one chain. So we increase every second stitch. And uh, on the end of this round, you must have 12 single crochets and you stop again with a single crochet and not with a chain because we make a slip stitch to close the round and this slip stitch count as one chain pulling on tightly so here is the last one and also degrees and end with a single crochet. Now you see um, exactly where you have to close the round because it's in the first chain in the new color. It's a little bit difficult if you crochet too tightly. So you see the first chain with the new color. 
there you make your slip stitch and now I change again my strand of new of another color I make one chain and again the first single crochet is in the same stitch round for round every round for your first single crochet and one chain now we increase every third stitch you always skip one on the top and go into the next stitch here you see and the third one you increase and crochet two times one single crochet and one chain stitch and then on end of round you must have 16 seven, uh, single crochets a little bit fast forward for you <clears throat> again we close the round with the slip stitch here you can also exactly see it's the first stitch with this color change the yarn to color B I called it color A and B and again your first single crochet in the same stitch where you make your slip stitch one single crochet one chain and now we go on and increase every four stitch so in every four stitch you crochet two times one single crochet and one chain so you have 20 single crochets after four rounds you see now it looks like little hooks the reason why i called it hook beanie Um, you see it looks uh, a little bit like a square a four square it doesn't matter uh, after you increase rounds uh, it will be round in the fifth round we increase every four stitch so in every four stitch you crochet one single crochet and one chain stitch and you always skip the chain stitch and then you must have 25 single crochets and every round close end with a single crochet and close with a slip stitch in the first chain of your round the whole beam first single crochet in the same stitch now slip stitch and one chain I count again if I am right in the sixth round we increase every fifth single crochet one two and the, don't forget the chains between your single crochets and don't forget to skip the chain stitches from previous round and here is my fifth so i crochet one single crochet and one chain two times this is one increase So this is end of my round. It looks um like a square. Doesn't matter, I say. Close again with one slip stitch. Change the yarn color.
and here I show you again where you exactly closed. Here, here is the first stitch. You will see if you're right. If you are wrong, it uh, don't will look like a hook beanie. In the seventh round, uh, you increase every six stitch, every six single crochet. And on the end of the seventh round, you must have 35 single crochets. So increase every six stitch. And the increases are the reason why it looks like a square. You see? But because it's always on the same place the increase. Here is the first stitch where you close the round. And so on till you have arrived the circulum of your head size. And then you crochet without increases um, I show you here is always the end of round and I will show you again here where the right place is to put the needle you see here is the chain stitch here is the single crochet right from the single crochet is a hole this is the right place to put your needle on for a single crochet in the next round. Do you see? I hope so. It's not difficult. It's uh, crochet like every beanie with increases till you have arrive your circulum phase of your head and then without increases in every single crochet you crochet one single crochet and one chain so you see here it's not the right for the it's the right place for the sorry for the right place for the first chain Um, the last round now I make single crochets only in the front loops from the single crochet and under the chain stitches in the hole. Here in the hole, under the chain and there in one single crochet. I also make uh, some decreases so crochet from one uh, stitch, from two stitches one stitch um, because I like when the long beanie is a little bit bigger and on the front side a little bit tightlier. This is the reason uh, why I here decrease some stitches. You must test it if uh, it's too tight, you must increase and not decrease. So I make uh, this four rounds, my single crochets. Here I show you, I think, the nearly seamless join. Here you can see, here are end of end and start of our round. I think it's look okay. And I show you from the other side. Here you can see um, the place where I changed the color here. And when you always cross a little bit your, your yarns, when you change the color, it looks like here I show.
here I speak a lot of German. So, I hope I can explain in English this pattern. I wish you good luck and when you have questions, you know how you can find me. So, bye bye.